I think I identify as a designer first. I grew up around in a household where my father is very technical. Um, home Depot trips were like common, you know? And so he would build things that are very DIY at home. And so it was, it, was, it was fun to be around that. And then my mom, she sewed all my clothes growing up. We, money was not like the first thing in our, you know, we would worry about penny pinching and everything. And so she would put me in these beautiful dresses. And I remember never feeling less. I felt even more stronger because I'd walk in, I'm like, nobody has this. I only have this, you know, like she designed it for me. Started thinking about what career path I want to do, and architecture was something that just kept coming up. And then, of course, I go to architecture school at U of H. As a um, Indian Pakistani individual, you don't pick that. You pick business. You pick you pick anything with medical school, nursing, but you don't pick architecture. And then, so I go to the school, and I'm like, this is everything I wanted. My first day of studio, you know. And I started to realize there's people like me walking around. They like obsess over these things. I've always been inspired by nature and inspired by like topography lines and like that concentricness like the if you see topography lines they always like they don't intersect and then it was like well what if these characters kind of the lines intersect so you do see them kind of converge at the top and bottoms so that's kind of where it started to come from and i started to play around with it and again you see the development of it throughout it if you see in the sketchbook, you can actually grab it and open it. And in the beginning, I'm actually exploring how I wanted the legs to maybe look like and the hands to look like. I thought this character is a little fun and quirky and people can just channel themselves into it. And it doesn't have to be too, oh, is that a man or a woman? Like, I have to figure out, like, someone might see a father and son. Some might see a mother and daughter. You know, it can be anything. I, when I first drew, there's like three pieces over there that I can like point out to you guys exactly which ones they are. Um, but when I drew them, I was in a dark place and it's scary to say that because it sounds so like dramatic. Like I said, working in a place that I don't think it was my full potential. And so when I started drawing the character, I was like, okay, it's like a way of expressing that inner feeling of being alone or being like putting on a facade that I'm really happy, but inside I'm like, this is not what I want, you know? And so drawing that kind of helped me pull those feelings out and start to understand. Okay, so I think I was mentioning to you guys the first three that I did, and I'm gonna point them out to you. It was, this one was the first one, this one was the second, and then this one was the third. The first one, obviously feeling that like loneliness, like not really understanding. This one's called Now Jump, like, urge to be with someone, you know? And then this was trying to turn, like take the artwork from like the character and putting it, you see it go into space in this like random universe, but here you can kind of say it's like back to earth, right? Like we live here. You can see the different pieces have like little nature of growing and to remind you that you're literally gonna be a part of this earth. Like you, you're not leaving once you're gone. That yeah, first time I'm doing it, and this is the first time I'm exhibiting it. I think it's incredible because some of them are colleagues, and some I like you guys. I haven't met y'all, but seeing you guys go through it, I think it it just makes me feel like it's okay if you guys think anything other. The fact that I took that first step of putting it out there, that's all that matters. And if anyone takes anything away, it's don't wait for someone to make that opportunity, just make it for yourself. Yeah, I'm not chasing someone else to give me the opportunity, I'm gonna do it myself.